What's up guys, David Fala here. Welcome to my channel. On today's tutorial, we are going to be doing a classic haircut with a modern look. That means that we're going to add skin fade on the bottom, but we are going to be focusing on the shape of the haircut. The client has a lot of hair, super thick, super coarse. Besides focusing on the skin fade part, we're also going to focus on the overall shape of the haircut because at the end of the day, that's what the client sees and that's honestly the most important part. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and like it, share it with a friend, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to start with the top. We're going to fully saturate the top with water. Just make sure the roots and the end of the hair, the ends on the hair are fully saturated or fully wet. Reason is because if the roots are not fully saturated, then it's, uh, you're going to get an uneven cut. When you tension the hair to cut it, it's not going to tension uh, the same way. So you might get an uneven cut. So just make sure the hair is fully saturated. Now we're going to create a, a horseshoe parting on the top. That means that we're going to separate the top from the side just to make it easy for us to work in sections uh, sometimes we have a lot of hair on the top and then it's all over the sides and it's very hard to kind of cut now we're going to create the connection of the haircut right this is the section is going to connect the bottom with the top right so we're going to create that connection right now we are taking sections um, 45 degree angle and then how much are we going to cut it's going to be how much we're going to cut on the top so if the client says let's cut an inch then we're going to cut an inch from this section right also this is kind of where the the fade will stop so just make sure you look at it and you see where you want the fade to stop and that's where you create your connection okay now we are going to use a number three with the lever open in this case i'm using a detachable but you can use just a normal clipper with number three open the lever and this should connect with the scissor work that you did so whatever you created on the top using scissors and the step before the number three should connect with it you can also do a number four even a number five if you feel that you need something a little bit longer or if you're already a pro and you know exactly how to connect this with the machine you can definitely use a number two okay so now we are going to remove create our, our skin line so we're going to remove that hair from the bottom in this case i'm using the equivalent of a trimmer so you can use your trimmer or you can use your machine with a lever close and just create this guy just make sure you follow the head shape so if the head kind of like goes more towards the back uh, like in the way that I did right now you can drop that fade a little bit better so it will follow the head shape and it will look a lot better right now we're using our shaver and with the shaver you don't want to go all the way to the skin line you want to maintain it a little bit lower you're going to leave a little bit of space maybe like half of a finger like half an inch and just uh yeah like half an inch or half of a finger however you want to go about it uh, but you do want to leave a little space so you actually not, don't create like a line that is very hard to remove in this case right now i'm using my trimmer to remove any lines that I, I maybe i created using the the shaver so just make sure you don't put a lot of pressure on the shaver so you don't make like a harsh line now we are using our machine with the lever open in this case uh, before everybody asked me this is the stylecraft apex uh, if you guys are interested in getting this clipper is actually a very nice clipper um, I want to leave a link right here in the description of this video with a discount code you guys can use it if you're interested in any Gamma Plus or Stylecraft uh, clippers okay so now we are using a one and a half the one and a half is going to connect with that three that we used before so I'm skipping number two because I don't need it if you stay very loose with your with your machine while using the machine then you might not need a lot of the guards right in this case I'm I skipped the two and I skipped the one right because I didn't need it but you can see I'm grinding the machine very loosely in my hand so that allows it to not make any any harsh lines I'm using the 116 now I always start with a lever open and I start closing the lever little by little as needed sometimes you don't need to close the lever all the way because you might not need to close the lever all the way if you do close it sometimes you don't need it you're gonna create a line that you don't need it didn't need to be there so just make sure that close the lever little by little and when you see that you don't need it anymore you don't need it anymore now I removed the guard and now i'm just using the machine with a lever open using more the corners than anything else and just kind of continue cleaning up whatever i see that it doesn't look uh, uh like that goes there right at this point it's just kind of like you look you use the mirror you see what doesn't go there and then you light it up using the corners remember not every client has a perfect head some clients have you know like little wrinkles they have indents they have bones upper two so all that you gotta keep in mind and then you gotta use your corners to light up certain places just to make it look the best you can right at the end of the day uh, that's all we can do you know we have an uneven canvas we need to try to do the best we can to make it look more even right that's what that's our job 
so after shaping up i'm gonna go ahead and cut the top we're gonna go ahead and wet the top again it's very important that the, the top is wet before we can actually uh, cut the top right in this case i'm gonna keep it very simple for you like uh, the way i've been doing a lot of my haircuts recently for youtube it's just me based on how i do my haircuts at the shop kind of something very quickly yes i can part in many ways i can show you many more advanced techniques but i know many of you that watch these videos work at barbershops you are not maybe you might not have all the time in the world to like go through all these sections and all that so then i'm trying to keep it as simple as possible so right here what i'm doing i'm starting from the front so over directing it up and then i'm using that as a guide and then going all the way to the to the back to the crown right elevating everything 90 degrees from the floor that's very simple what i do then i take another section like you can see in this case i take another section on the other side of the head elevate everything up and then just kind of cut it following the section that it was right in the middle right that guide in the middle that's exactly what i'm following so i said i try to keep it very simple the only thing with this type of way of cutting is that you do have to cross check so make sure you take very close sections to make sure that you uh everything is connected correctly and everything is even why because when you grab this amount of hair at the same time you are going to make mistakes it is what it is so you got to make sure you always cross check to make sure that you know you give the client exactly what they're looking for right now i'm just uh drying the hand that in the shape that i wanted to to be the, the shape the client wants it to be so you know fully dry and then i can start doing the touch-ups in this case i'm using my scissors to uh kind of retouch the fade uh reason why is because uh scissors tend to give you a softer look to your haircuts uh, so uh, that's exactly why i'm using it and i already used my my uh the corners of the, the clipper and it didn't work out how you can see here i'm um, pointing out like there's like a little indent in the client's head so because of that uh, there's going to be like a darker spot that is going to show so i'm going to try to use the tip of my scissors you can use your machine as well to try to light that up in this case i did use the corners of the clipper and it didn't work so now i'm using the the scissors you just gotta make sure that just because from the side you see it and it looks like like a, like a dark spot make sure that you remember when you look at it from the front if you do it too much it's gonna look like a hole so sometimes you know you gotta uh, think about okay if I light this up fully fully it's gonna look at the, uh, like a hole from the front so do you want that sometimes you don't so sometimes it's okay to leave do a little bit darker there it is what it is I'll say you are working on an imperfect canvas and what happens is that sometimes like you you can you do your best you can but sometimes uh, you know like fixing of one angle might mess it up on the other angle right so just always keep that in mind right here using this the, the, the razor i'm stretching the skin how you can see on my fingers and then that's it now i'm applying a little bit of hairspray just to kind of hold it into place he, the client has a lot of hair how you guys can see very coarse so i don't want to add more product that's going to make it super heavy and also like weigh it down right so that's why i'm using hairspray so this is how the client looked before and this is how he looks now a completely different person that's it guys for this video i hope you guys enjoy i hope you guys learn if you did don't forget to subscribe and like it and i'll see you guys on the next one take care